In previous videos, I showed you this belt printer from Creality, but how do you slice for it with this 45 degree angle nozzle? Well, it takes a special slicer. So let's take a look at it right here on Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Creality offers a slicer called Creality Belt. It's based on Cura 3.6. Here's proof if I click on about Cura 3.6. I've covered this in previous videos. It's not a bad slicer. It's got a few minor issues, but let's look at what they changed. At the top, you select your printer profile, like I could select the CR10, and it would look like normal Cura. Although my block is off to the side, but that's a CR10 bed. Let's go to the 3D print mill, and now you get this infinite looking bed, which is, you know, infinite Z. At the top, you can actually select a different angle. This machine is 45 degrees. 0.4 nozzle, and we're going to use PLA. Now, there was only one profile for printing, but I'm working on three new ones and we'll use one of them in this video. At the top there's a Creality Built section. This is new and this is where you can select number of copies you want to print. So here I'll select five and the distance between them I want 20 millimeters between them. You can print a raft, you can uh, adjust the belt wall, you can adjust the belt speed or wall speed. So this is all for you know getting that first layer to go down. Belt offset that's like a Z offset and it has a second cooling fan, which you can set the speed. The default is 50%. I'll leave it. And then it gets normal. I'm going to print at a 0.3, a 15% infill. I'm going to use 200 degrees C and 60 degrees on the heated plate. And I was printing at 60 millimeters per second. Their default is 40, so let's go back to that. And then when I click prepare, it says 22 minutes. Now that's 22 minutes for a single block. So let's go into the layer view, see if it shows anything else. And we can see how it's going to print at 45 degrees. But notice there's no other blocks behind it, even though I said I want to print five. Well, it explains it up here. It says, note that the repetitions will not be visible in layer view. So we have to trust it's going to print five. So 22 minutes times five, it should take you know a little over an hour and a half, hour and three quarters. So let's print this and see how it does. And here it is in time lapse, and it's definitely printing five blocks. Look at that. And here they are finished. So let's measure and see, are they actually 20 millimeters apart? And when I did, I found the first one was 23 millimeters separation. The next one was 24. And then from then on, it was 24. So that 20 millimeters isn't exactly accurate, but it was pretty consistent after the first one. These were printed at a 0.3 layer height, so I didn't expect perfect cubes, but clearly I've got some improvements to do to my slicing profile. Well, that's part of the fun. Dimensionally, the prints were too big, 20.4 in the X direction and even bigger, 20.75 in the Y direction. But in the Z, as usual, it was slightly less at 19.89. All of those should have been 20 millimeters. Now let's slice something big. I'm going to go to stemfee.org and this is a 3D printed building kit. You can download the pieces. It's almost like a building your own Legos or 3D printing your own Legos. And it's got these beams that I want to print one of these, but I want to print it big. So I brought it into Cura and I'm going to print it at 500% size. So huge, make it much, much bigger. So I'll come over here to copies, leave it at one, use all the other standard settings, 0.3 layer height, 15% fill. Basically, I'm not going to change anything here. Use everything the same. And then let's print this guy. Now, this is where it reminded me of Cura 3.6 estimations are way off. This says it's going to take 6 hours and 54 minutes. It took way longer. And then I realized the cubes actually took longer. But this is how it's going to print. And this, to me, is where the printer belt really is fun. Because now I can print this big piece that I could not print on any of my printers. I don't have a big enough bed. If you try to stand it up, it's not going to work. But this is a lot of fun. But these estimates in Cura are just way off, almost double what it says. So you got to double whatever number it tells you. I did print a second one and ran out of filament. That's why I had to change to a different color. And even though they look different in size here, they're actually identical, really, really close. The whole sizes, the length, the whole bit. So I want to print a lot more of these, plus the bolts and stuff to put them together. I think I can have a lot of fun with a big set of these Stempfy parts. 
And here's a practical print. My son asked if I could design a custom bass board for measuring fish in a fishing tournament, and it printed beautifully on the CR30. In fact, it was so big, it was hanging off the edge when it was done. I couldn't print this on any of my other machines. Creality Belt isn't the only option. There is Black Belt Cura for the Black Belt printers. And also other slicers are announcing they're going to add this feature to their slicers. So we may have better options in the future. And that's how you slice for a belt printer like this. And after having this belt printer for a little while, I'm starting to come up with a lot of unique ideas that I never thought about 3D printing. I mean, just 3D printing a large toy piece like this that's actually really strong when I try to flex it, it, uh, it just opens up a lot of possibilities. People have talked about making moldings or, of course, the sword. Everyone's making different swords and, and, and props. But my mind is really spinning a, a lot of unique ideas that I could print with this machine that I could never do with any of my other machines. I mean, even standing it up, it'll want to wiggle and you don't get as good a print. It's not the fastest print, but the fact that it can do things that I never thought of, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. And if nothing else, click on the CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.